Imagine you have your standard court. Then you add a net and some players on each side. And rather than playing regular volleyball, you're able to throw and catch. You can make up to three throws and catches and then it's got to go over the net. Throw and catch, throw and catch. When a team throws it over the net and it lands on the other side, a point is scored. Now let's add one more rule. If you try to pass it to a teammate and they happen to drop it, then that's a turnover. No point scored. Now just to make things interesting, let's bring in some giant scissors, cut the net in half, shrink it down, and put one half on each end of the court. And we'll call those rebounders. And on the floor just outside those rebounders is a D-shaped zone called a forbidden zone. Nobody's allowed in there. We'll bring our players back and say that they can go anywhere they want on the court except the forbidden zone. They're passing and catching, passing and catching up to three times and then you must shoot. A shot is taken off the rebounder and the defense tries to catch it. Play continues from there by passing and catching and you can also take up to three steps with the ball. If a shot is taken off the rebounder and lands outside the forbidden zone, that team scores. The other team then gets the ball and restarts the action from the baseline. After a team scores, the non-scoring team must then cross half court before attempting the next shot. Another cool thing about chook ball is that you may attempt to score at either rebounder. After three shots in a row by either team at the same rebounder, the next shot must be taken at the other end. If a pass is thrown and not caught, it's a turnover and the other team takes over from there. In chook ball, it's nice because your teammates are always open, because defense cannot intercept passes. The defense is only trying to get into a position to protect the ball from hitting the floor when a shot is taken off the rebounder. This is what it looks like in RPE classes. Now if you happen to take a shot and miss the rebounder completely, the other team gets a point. Here are some highlights of real chute ball being played. As you can see, chook ball looks like an invasion game, but really it's more like a net court game. 